family I'm back in my setting welcome back to I love me 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 so I am going to do a story time on a ratchetness on Facebook I just can't believe it so stay tuned All right, family, welcome back. So I'm going to go ahead and jump into this story. I'm going to read it and then give you my opinion. So it says that I have a toxic relationship with my best friend. Maybe some of you guys have seen this, but, you know, I'm going to read the entire thing. And then, like I said, give you my opinion. Here it is. He's married and we have three kids together. They came years after marriage, so meaning they were cheating. Yes, I know we, we are or, and were wrong for that, but it happened. I can't change it. Trust me, I got my head ripped off by my 90-year-old grandmother who said I was dumb and foolish, but I wasn't the first and I won't be the last. True story. However, he accepted at all, wait, I'm sorry. However, he's accepted at all family gatherings and is missed when he doesn't come. So the family condoning this foolishness too. We, the kids and I, never lack anything from him such as time nor money. We always got gifts on birthdays and holidays if we were in town, and some even while we were out of town. We have been friends all our lives, but we have been in an on-again, off-again relationship for 20-plus years. Let that sink in. I've had serious relationships that never worked out and have always ended up back with him. Well, all of this back and forth has ran its course finally, and it's either we're going to be fully together or we're done. Now, honestly, I don't know. I don't want the latter, so she doesn't want it to be done. But I know karma, so I'm preparing for the end. I'm trying to distance myself from the situation, but the conversations with his friends are cryptic, but hinting at me sticking with him and, and them saying we're going to help him. Um, get it together. So the friends are basically egging it so on for her to stay around and so she's confused obviously on what she should do after 20 years and three kids and he married. Yeah. Okay. Meanwhile, my friends and family are telling me to give him time. I don't know what he's telling them. One minute he's telling me I want you to be happy and in the same breath he's actually saying but I need you. Right now, he's going through a significant loss, and although I want to be there for him as a friend, I don't want to get sucked back into our normal. I mean, he really is my best friend. Please help. Girl. Boop. Did you wake up? Did you wake up? 20 years, three kids, and he, you, you ain't got nowhere near the last name? You had serious relationships. He had serious relationships, obviously. You were not the chosen one, which is why you don't have the last name. You think that you were the chosen one. You think that this is just a friendship, but it is not. It's a very toxic, as you know, very toxic relationship because that's how you started this off. This is not a healthy relationship. This is definitely not something that you need your kids to be seeing. You are setting a bad example. I'm sorry, I just got to put it out there. Because your kids are seeing that you think it's okay to be in a relationship and at some point, if it's 20 years now, depending on the age of the children, but still, they probably at least 10, 12, somewhere around there, the teenage age, and they're watching everything that you are doing. You are setting such a bad example for them. You are setting them up for failure as well. You are continuing with the generational curse your family is super wrong, so obviously because he was a child friend, your family and friends all know him because you guys grew up together, as you already mentioned, right? So with that being said, they're all condoning this shenanigans. They're all letting him come around. They're even giving you this horrible advice for you to stick around even longer. How much time did this sucker need? 20 years? You gonna give him another 20? Because you're in a relationship with him wholeheartedly, fully. It doesn't matter what you say you are. He's not. He's blatantly showed you that he is not in a committed relationship with you. You are the side booty still. You ain't got the last name. You got the kids. Okay, right. You haven't lacked for any time or money, but you really have lacked for time and money. You've actually lacked for a lot of stuff. 
which is why now you are basically giving him an ultimatum to say now it's either us fully or you're prepared to be done but you really don't want to be done that's because you still ain't ready to be done and he's not going to make a decision because you have never required him to make a decision and so now 20 years in the game now you're trying to flip the switch on him he really ain't trying to play alone you set yourself up for such a disaster. Now, you absolutely can get out of this mess that you put yourself in, but that is going to be where you have to cut him off completely. Only answer when he's talking about the kids. Drop them off at your, at, your, at your family's house who's condoning all of this stuff, and then let him go pick up his kids there. You need to completely distance yourself from this dude because you are only getting sucked in more and more and more and your emotions are doing nothing but hurting you at this point because you have never fully uh, let any other relationship work out because you were still sucked in with him you can say it all you want to that you wasn't but you clearly were because every single time you said that your long-term relationships didn't work out because every single time they didn't work out who did you end up back with because that's where your heart is. That's where you truly want to be. But sister, he has not shown you that he wants to be there with you like that. He hasn't. Or are you just comfortable with him having two families? Now you say that you're not, obviously, because that this is where this... Uh, uh, um, what are you trying to give him? Ultimatum. That's where this ultimatum is coming from. So now you're finally fed up. But really, you're still not. You're still going to be there. You're still going to play along with this shenanigans. And unfortunately, your family and friends are actually hurting you too. You absolutely need to get away from every single toxic person in your life. And work on you. Work on your self-esteem. Work on your worth. It's never too late because you're still breathing. But you're setting a bad example for your babies. And especially if they are girls. Even the boys. The boys are seeing. You know, they, they seeing what's going on. And they like, okay, that's how I treat women. And so you can't be mad at your boys for dogging out the next girl because you're showing them it's okay. You can't be mad at your girls for getting with and getting with the guy that's treating them like crap and she's looking like the dummy because you're doing it. Kids are absolutely watching everything that we do. Doesn't matter what comes out of our mouth. They are watching and they are, they are going to repeat exactly what we are doing. Get out while you can, while you still got your sanity. Obviously, it's something not right about this situation. I don't care that it clicked so late for you, but it has finally clicked. And you can do something about it. You have to be brave enough to walk away cold turkey and don't give this sucker not another day of your breathing life. And honestly, sis, he only doing this because you allow because you are allowing him to do it to you. That's why he doing it. He ain't worried about that ultimatum. Because he knows in your heart of hearts that you will be there. You will be his old faithful. Even if for some reason his marriage does not work out because of this shenanigans that you two got going on. He ain't coming to you, boo. He still ain't going to make you his wife. Anyway, family, let me know how you guys feel about the situation. I just really want to hear what you guys have to say. Did I hit the nail right on the head? Was I off? You know, did I come at it wrong or what? Like, let me know. I absolutely love reading you guys' comments. You already know that. Of course, if this is your very first time here, thumbs up. And, of course, if you've been coming here, you already know, give me thumbs up, right? If this is your first time here, let me repeat that again. Go ahead and hit the red subscribe button down below or the icon with my lovely face. Because here at I Love Me Me Me, I'm supplying you guys with all of the tips and tools in order to have happy, healthy, not toxic, healthy, romantic relationships. I will see you again tomorrow. Deuces.